Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. Delinquents, delinquents, delinquents. It is pre-release for OP09 this weekend. So I think it's about that time we come out with a top 10 best decks of the OP09 format. I have these notes, but I gotta say, I'm just fired up to be here today. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Woo! I know hype is in the air, holidays are in the air, but I'm really worried about this brand new set coming out next Friday. Fact, not an opinion. Facts. We're not gonna waste no more time. Let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Welcome back. Look, before we start, you guys are probably wondering how am I even getting this data, whatever the case may be. If you guys go on my channel right now to my Japan's final OP09 meta breakdown plus ban list discussion, video i tell you guys what is the best decks with the most tops at the highest you know the highest type of tournaments that they have really going on in japan so now we're going to go over the top 10 decks based off of facts and not opinion and that's a fact not an opinion you get what i'm saying so without further ado let's go ahead and start the 10th best deck of the op09 format has to be oh my god <laughs> definitely time for a break wasn't expected to take a break this soon we'll be just right back back and this boring ass deck is still on the screen yo who girl is this who's hoe is this this girl is in the streets right now okay nobody wants this bra nope nobody wants this hoe why is she on my screen she's boring as fuck this is one of these type of girls where you take out and instead of talking when you're actually right across from them, they sit over here sending you texts oh ooh, i love the food happy emoji bitch if you don't get this shit out of here bro you boring ass motherfucking deck get the hell out of here we're not even gonna talk about it the ninth best deck of the format has to be a real deck <laughs> <laughs> okay that's what it is it's definitely a real deck that we have we actually have a real deck a opo 9 leader on top of that if you guys do not know this is the monkey d luffy the pb and l i call it the pb l not pb and j pb and l l for luffy okay gear 5 luffy in my personal opinion just looking at the art starting off i love the art tell me below do you guys think this might be the best looking luffy art out there let me know below i want to know what the delinquents is feeling do you guys think that this art is the best luffy art we currently have coming into the game op09 let me know but besides on how the card looks let's go over everything in this deck and what this deck can even do since this is a brand new leader let's go over its effect down times one your characters have a plus one cause so this is also a way to counter pre-existing black decks such as luchi and by luffy just raising that cost makes those types of players invest a little bit more into their plays to remove things from the field so that's a good plus on this particular leader the next thing we have is your turn once per turn when you have two or more dawn cards are returned to your dawn deck from play set up to one of your dawn deck as active and up to one from your dawn deck as rested so allows you to ramp pretty much some good dom manipulation when op09 first came out a lot of people were saying that this is going to be a top three deck it is now sitting at ninth just because it doesn't have too much representation compared to all the other top decks some decks that you know made a surprise into the meta such as blackbeard but this deck on the, the release of op09 in the east was supposed to be like a top two deck let's go ahead and go over the rest of the cards this is a blocker black maria if you're playing a purple deck why not play one of the best don recycling purple cards in the game this is a brand new card from op09 this is one of the main reasons why i personally hate playing against this deck just because they abuse this card and pretty much rest a character with six or lower so pretty much everything in by luffy gets their bitch fuck fact not an opinion so this is a good way to really end games usually what you'll try to do if they have two blockers on the field playing this deck you just go out into this and then you go out to this resting two blockers then you just attack at face Very very shice in my opinion very tough this is a searcher uh just a blanket searcher for the straw hat crew i mean yeah you guys do have the heart privates but as the time of speaking right now there's really not a good 
hearts pirate card or leader that really uses cards really just a straw hat so this is going to be a staple in every single straw hats purple color type of deck so this is a brand new card coming out of op09 first off let's take a look at the art the art looks amazing it even has that crest that you know you guys see on my channel I, look it, it must got the drip it must this frankie must got the drip you already know what time it is let's go ahead and read its effect on play don negative two discard one card from your hand draw two cards so this allows you to recycle your hand just by subtracting two don if you guys can tell in this whole entire deck the main gist of this deck is really managing your don correctly i feel like a lot of people don't understand how big of a skill that is just for the purple color in my personal opinion but this is a great blocker and on top of that if you end up using monkey d luffy's effect by attaching one don this no longer can get ko'd from anything that has uh you know effect that says ko from four costs or lower this is very good against by luffy as well because now i can't pop this with rock luffy very shice card in my opinion one of the best cards coming from op09 for this particular deck we have this card right here this is also op09 card your turn once per turn when your don's cards are returned to your don deck choose one of your leaders during this turn plus a thousand power so it allows you to pretty much plus your attacking power on your turn once per turn and this is a, a constant effect so if you just leave this on the board and don't even rest it this could just keep on adding an extra plus uh was a thousand power to your leader giving it a six six dawn costs or six dawn power i'm sorry very very good in my opinion next card we have right here this is also a new card from opio 9 it's called rono zoro purple card on play you may return one or more dawn cards from play to your dawn deck set up to one dawn card from your dawn deck into play as active so not only you have some ramping it becomes a plus four with the leader ability and it's a three cause five thousand power so just uh, overall really really based as card in my personal opinion we have a game any card with kaido any of these older cards i'm not gonna really go over them too much because you know you guys should already know what this card does we have the trafalgar law he's only opting out for one this is also a championship winning list so if you guys are wondering where i got this list from this is a championship winning list we have four usa from the structure deck this is also from the structure deck gecko mori if you're running a black deck why not run four this is your main source of board removal with this saji especially if you play all curve very very good in my opinion just killing anything of a five cost or lower pretty much sitting on by luffy again there's a lot of things in this set that just makes by luffy lower on the tier list we have gum gum jet gatling this is just really a tech depending on you know if you guys like it or not you guys could try this template and tell me how you guys like this particular card we have the top not this from opio 3 not going to read it and we're going to read these two new cards because these cards are very powerful this card right here gum gum lightning don negative 2k up to one of your opponent's power six thousand or less pretty much shitting on by luffy again i'm starting to realize that by luffy's hardest matchup has to be a lot of these pro decks just because of cards like this and it also has a broken trigger set up to one don from your don deck is active very good only costing a two don power as well very good in my opinion next card we got right here is probably the biggest improvement for straw hat purple decks this is probably the most broken purple card uh for straw hats and that is gum gum giant don negative two you may trash one card from your hand if your leader has the straw hat crew type give up to one of your leaders or characters four thousand power for this battle then draw two cards so not only do you get an extra four thousand power but you also get the recycle in hand and draw two cards kind of almost kind of like how you get two cards from this frankie right here so overall this deck is good i feel like there's a skill ceiling on this deck is the reason why you haven't really seen it too too much in the meta in the east but my personal opinion is still a really good shiesty ass deck and uh if you're a skilled pilot you guys could contend with the best of the best out there let's go ahead and go straight to the eighth best deck the eighth best deck that we have has to be bonnie and honestly i have to keep it true with y'all when op09 in the east first started i always told you guys bonnie's going to be a top five deck there's no way you know drops out of top five there's absolutely no way that's even possible i have been wrong bonnie fell off the cliff ever since op09 really did just start when we look at the highest representation when we come to uh those bandai events they stream you only saw one bonnie and that was in a 3v3 ever since then you've never seen bonnie bonnie literally fell off a cliff and that's the reason why it's the eighth best deck at the point of time of speaking right now hopefully in our meta it's changed but bonnie eighth best deck in my personal opinion we have the four cavendish okay you guys already know what a lot of these cards do since this leader is kind of old it is from 07 
we got the four cavendish we got the po we have the issue for issue we have the killer i really don't see this card ran too often let me know if this is just a new tech for op09 i'm not really too sure for all my bonnie players don times one win blocking if you have three or more characters draw one card so just being able to you know refresh your hand is very you know very tough in my opinion you have the three captain kid just being able to bring down the fort and just shut off dofi that's what this deck is really good against the main deck this deck is really good against is dofi and that's a top two deck in our particular op09 meta and this card in particular just shuts down that whole entire matchup so if you have a lot of dofi players at your locals this may be a deck for you to just run just so you can make all the dofi players cry okay the next card we have is this 10 drop doflamingo a lot of people are cutting this uh the nine cost zoro and opting out for this card just being able to lock down your opponent in my personal opinion that might be the right play it is an on play so against you know blackbeard you might have you might struggle a little bit but what deck doesn't struggle against blackbeard really except for rushing decks and you know i feel like this is a good substitute for rono zora just it's all preference you guys could replace this with zora but also doesn't really make sense because you are also running the the four hody jones right here so i think this is a good call for this particular build we have the four rosazante we have the shanks this is a good card a lot of people are sleeping on ko up to one of your opponent's rested characters so if anything's rested and pretty much a lot of things will be rested just because of this carrot doesn't even have a power stipulation on this card so very shiced carrot ran at four a lot of people are saying one or two no four and you know the east also agrees you have probably the best blocker in the game can't be removed and is removed you get the rest of the character on the board cleaning out games with hody jones and yeah this is pretty much bonnie in a nutshell y'all eighth best deck i'm surprised how bad it's done at the tail end or just the whole entire entirety of op09 in the east hopefully that changes over here in the west let's go ahead and get straight to our seven best deck our seven best deck of the format has to be a nail and if you guys did not know before i started making content i played by luffy and then i switched to a nail a nail is what i learned the game on if you guys are brand new to you know the one piece card game you guys just get in for opio 9 because everything looks cool this is not a bad leader to try to learn the game on this is what i learned on and then i switched back to by luffy uh, I even have games of me playing with Fennel on the channel. Go ahead and check that out. But let's just take a look at the list here real quick. This actually looks like the same exact list that I showed you guys in my previous video when it comes to Fennel. The only difference is that I changed it up a little bit. Instead of running the Gadatsus, and since Blackbeard is so popular, let's just go ahead and take a look at Gadatsu. Let's just take a look at Gadatsu real quick. Because usually, Gadatsu is usually ran in this type of deck. But since Blackbeard is ran... And a lot of things nowadays can't be KO'd. I feel like we just take this card out and we just start going trigger happy by adding four of these and four of these as well. And another reason why this card is good or this card isn't as good as compared to these other two is because this is a blanket effect. We can always remove a four and five cost with these two cards compared to this where it's really dependent off of your life. So late game, this is really just used for a counter. And, you know, I'd rather just use a card that's good all throughout the game instead of, you know, early stages. When we take a look at the deck, we are running the two Flampy uh, in the three Hiori combo. This is my personal combo I always like going with because late game, you really don't want to be taking your life with Flampy. So this could be a dead card late game and early game or late game. This card could be shice as hell just because let's say late game, they got a whole bunch of bodies. You could Hiori put a, uh, you're the one to disappear or a Capone there. I mean, you guys can put, you can even put this, even though you will probably never use this out of life because it rips two cards from your hand. You really late game, you're going to be putting this or if you need the draws this or you can just literally put anything in here just to abuse the triggers because this is what this deck is it a happy a trigger happy type of deck okay uh the, another card that you guys really don't see too often in this anel deck is this cracker this is my personal opinion because late game this can come up clutch especially if you are behind you're probably always going to be on one life throughout the entirety of the game which means your life will be lower than everybody else's so when you get this off trigger this can be very very threatening i'm going to keep it real we usually run the onami let's just take a look at the onami here we usually run the onami the main reason why we're not running the onami is just because of blackbeard the last thing you want to do is fill up their trash for jesus that's the last thing you want to do is fill up their trash just because of jesus so we opted to take this out just because a lot of decks are starting to use things out their trash mainly blackbeard so this is really just tech for the blackbeard matchup even though we have a lot of on plays as well and that's another thing too when it comes to playing against blackbeard 
uh this deck really does struggle that's really it's only bad match besides that i think everything else is matched up pretty well in my personal opinion we have the aces to clean out games we already went over these and another tech that i see a lot of people using or not a lot of people using i'm sorry is this 20 is this 200 000 amaro so this card fell off the meta in opo 8 and opo 7 just because there's really no need to use this but since everybody is starting to have this plus 3000 plus 4000 type of effects mainly with gum gum giant and um i forgot the red card that gives you 4000 uh, i'm not a red player we don't set trip over here you want to have the extra boost to your power late game to close out the games because nine times out of ten they're gonna have one don up and they drop that one card they're either getting plus to nine thousand or even possibly ten thousand so this helps you close out games worst case scenario you guys could use this as a trigger even though it rips two cards from your hand so you know very good uh another card that a lot of people aren't really using is this anel this anel is just a problematic card this is like a five drop red ace just bigger in my personal opinion and it has rush so this is the nail list i feel like this may be the best list moving forward i mean you guys could tech in the onamis but for what this deck is doing in 09 i feel like this might be the most optimal list that you could possibly use in 09 a nail seven best deck it's always going to be a top 10 just because of its broken leader effect let's go ahead and get straight into the sixth best deck of the format which is by luffy so with by luffy i'm not gonna really spend too much time talking about this deck because the majority of my channel besides the nail is by luffy and just to keep it honest with you uh i don't really just don't want to spend a lot of time on this because because i talk so much about it on the channel already but we can go over here real quick the main difference from this deck compared to the one i was using in opo8 is really this kingdom come with the regos this deck needs this card if you guys plan on playing by luffy still and you're not going to switch like me you guys have to play this card. If you guys don't play this card where they drop the 10 cost uh, Blackbeard, you're going to lose. If they drop the 12 cost Shanks, you might lose. If they drop anything big body that you can't get off with this Ice Age, and mind you, we're only playing one, you're pretty much going to lose. And this answers a lot, a lot of problems. And on top of just dropping your life to one. So what happens a lot when people are playing against you is that they starve you out. This is also another way to compensate if someone's still, you know, really just stalling you out you know watching you just not play the game just rego then possibly just use a flampy next turn that's another way uh you could really just use this card the utility on this card is actually cracked and on top of its trigger effect just getting rid of you know anything on the field just counting your life up like a yamato effect and if they are starving you you can really just abuse your own life against them since they chose to starve you but outside of that the only thing that's different is probably the two aces i'm starting to think that this is more of a staple now moving into opo9 and the two kuzans and i'm not running the four searchers because i feel like if i have to use four three brothers bronze and four monkey d garp that means i'm probably going to lose to begin with late game running this up four and when you draw it it's pretty much a dead card especially if your trash is already filled up and yeah this is all i really got for by luffy very solid deck you really just have to be a skilled pilot at this point playing this deck or even to have a chance um uh, blackbeard i mean you guys saw it on the channel blackbeard shuts shut you down especially if you're playing against a very good blackbeard player so in order to compensate that you guys really just have to know what you're doing this is the second hardest deck in the game to play as the time is speaking as well so you know if you, this is something you're interested in it's the most combo Yu-Gi-Oh deck out there let's go ahead and get straight to the fifth best deck and the fifth best deck of the opo annoying format is rob lucci a lot of people are asking how come by luffy is underneath rob lucci it's because if rob lucci is not in the meta by luffy will probably not be in the meta the only reason why by luffy will even be in contention in the meta is if rob lucci is played and the main reason why rob lucci is played i'm not gonna go over any of these cards really we could scroll over them just so you guys can see and we'll go over two tech cards that they're adding but the main reason why people will still opt out to play rob lucci even though it has a bad matchup than blackbeard is because rob lucci has a very very good matchup into blue doe flamingo which is the you know one a top two deck as well in my and not even by not even in my opinion this is actually facts based off the east so as long as dofi's here rob lucci is going to be here and as long as rob lucci is here this is fifth back on Lu yellow luffy is uh six okay because by luffy counters this deck 
but outside of that everything else is pretty much the same the only tech that i see people still using is uh this card right here if anything i don't know about this solo because it is on play and at the highest you know level of competition i feel like you guys probably shouldn't be using this if anything you guys can replace this card with like a uh, sabo right here or maybe even a kaido right here because this kaido actually shits on blackbeard in the very first biggest event in the east for op09 rob lucci won and it was solely just because of this particular card okay if you guys just want to take a look at all the cards i'll go over every single one of these cards you guys do want to copy this list uh but all in all this deck is pretty much solved no reason really to go over it and yeah this is pretty much the rob lucci list fifth best deck as long as blue dovey's in the meta this will be somewhere in the meta and it's not actually not that bad against some of the other topping decks that we're going to see as well it's just getting power crept that's all it is next top deck that we have which is the fourth best deck of the format has to be shanks so shanks will always be a top deck just because of its leader effect so let's go ahead and read his leader effect once per turn you may activate his effect when your opponent attacks give up to one of your opponent's leader or character's power negative a thousand for the turn so the main reason why this card is very very good and this leader is very very good is is solely because every time you use this leader effect that's less counter cards that come from your hand the biggest thing about one piece and really just any card game is stacking up your hand usually the person that has the most cards in hand is usually one that's going to win because they have so many lines they can particularly take this helps compensate that when someone attacks for seven they're not attacking for seven so somebody attacks you with seven to shanks you're not taking seven drop that down one now you just have to give out a 2k compared to dropping a 2k and then also dropping a uh, 1k like this so that's the reason why this leader is so good very defensive type ability and will always be viable and it also gets a buff op 10 so if this is the deck that you guys are looking forward to playing this actually becomes probably a top three deck in an op 10 so not a bad deck to pick up let's just go over the cards here uh he is actually opting out to run the marco i've been seeing a lot more people play this particular marco for board removal and just so it can recycle itself since you guys are using a lot of events such as these right here this is the card that i was talking about earlier radical beam since you are using a lot of events allows you just to always reborn a 6k body when it is destroyed uh i also see a couple of people starting to tech this just being able to kill any character for a 10,000 power or less especially if you are playing against blackbeard uh this this is definitely a really really good card i would say blackbeard but anything outside of blackbeard because blackbeard does have an on play another card that a lot of people have been teching into their build is this card monkey d dragon they're actually teching this card a little bit more compared to the gold d roger because after a while people are starting to learn how to play against gold d roger so to compensate you know running two or three of these people are opting out to run four monkey d dragons very good card being able to recycle dong rush at a 9k i mean you can't really go wrong with this card honestly you really can't this is a staple in every single red deck just like how silver's rally is a staple in every red deck i have some people asking me hey can we replace the silver's rally the silver's rally is 40 dollars now in this deck no you cannot replace there's really nothing that really replaces this card y'all should have tapped into our market watches and if you do use my market watch make sure you use the link in the description so you know you can help out the gang you know help fund this war that we're in and um yeah that's all i really got when it comes to silver rally silver rally staple can't be replaced if you guys don't have it now i'm sorry it sucks to suck i told you to pick it up at 15 20 now it's like damn near 40 so hey you just have to take the loss bite the bullet and go ahead and cop those four cards coming out to 160 so if you guys didn't listen to my marker watch you lost next new card that we have right here is shanks all your opponent's characters have a negative thousand power with a rush this is one of the brand new cards that came out with op09 as well one of the best rushing cards in the game for any type of red deck fact not an opinion just having that foxy if you guys i keep telling you guys that this is like a foxy a lot of people don't even know what card i'm even talking about when i reference this but it's really let's see here it's this card right here this card is literally a beeped up version of this foxy card just dropping down your opponent's power by a thousand powers so very good and it also has rush as well so tough as fuck um yeah that's that's pretty much what it is it's a steroid version of foxy next new card we have right here is this silver's rally with a thousand counter it's a blocker let's go ahead and read his effects since it is a new card if your opponent has two or more characters with an original power of five thousand or more draw two cards and discard one card from your hand this is pretty much a hand cycler with a blocker at 6k 
power not bad not bad we have the ben beckman let's go ahead and read this this also is a main staple card new card is welcome at opo 9 on play trash up to one of your opponent's characters with a power of six thousand that's pretty much shitting on by luffy i feel like all these decks is literally to counter by luffy which is actually crazy the biggest thing that you want to take from with this card is it's trashing ability this is the reason why shanks has a good matchup into blackbeard just because of this ben beckman allows you to get rid of that jesus card okay and you guys always want to drop this as soon as possible because if you wait late game jesus's power is going to be way over six thousand. so very good card in my personal opinion one of the best red cards to come out of opo 9 this is another brand new card activate main you may rest this character if your leader has the type red hair pirates give up to one of your opponent's characters negative 2000 so this is pretty much a power reduction just being able to you know bring down the power for things to get popped for you know such as this and this right here not bad in my personal opinion we have the game ending card in goldie roger when your opponent activates blocker if you or your opponent have zero life you win the game the reason why they're only running it at one is because people are starting to learn how to play against this pretty much leader and this effect so you know that's the reason why you're only playing one and you really only need one this is like worst case scenario if you don't drop this you're going to lose type shit. majority of the time you're really just going to be abusing these two cards in this deck these two rushers in your deck if you guys are really just trying to apply pressure the next card we got here is portuguese ace this is from the structure deck uh we have gum gum red hawk this price of this card has been going up as you can see they are running four just being able to give a character four thousand power during battle is actually insane and then ko up to one of your characters with a negative four thousand power but the big thing of this card you guys see to the bottom left is the trigger your opponent leader or one of their characters loses ten thousand power i actually had this dropped on me when my monkey d luffy was like eleven thousand power and they used this and i pretty much almost lost the game i didn't lose i almost lost but this card at a trigger is actually insane can literally just swing the tide it's pretty much a capone in my personal opinion i feel like this card is, feels like a capone next card we got right here is radical beam and we also have guard points so this is the fourth best deck of the format uh shanks if you guys like red this is definitely the time to play shanks next deck that we have for the top three decks has to be purple luffy so purple luffy is the third best deck in the format i feel like it's not higher than that uh if you guys didn't couldn't guess what the two best decks are uh then you probably just knew but purple luffy old leader new support let's go ahead and see you know what this particular list is running first of all let's talk about bond clay here a lot of people are asking about bond clay if you guys do not want to run bond clay i have some other deck lists on my channel mainly the best day one op10 meta report go ahead and check that out there's actually a list topping from opo 10 and on top of all that it doesn't use any opo 10 cards so if you guys do want to have a deck list that does not have this particular card because this card is 40 dollars just for the base version check out that video there is a list in there for our purple players if you guys can't afford this card and i don't blame you the card's 40 dollars you know pricey as hell let me just take a look at a lot of these cards though you are running the kid probably one of the best purple blockers in the game on top of this sanji and this is searchable as well because there's a straw hat he is only opting out for charlotte linian at two and like i always told you when it comes to the ratios with this it's all peripheral preference depending on what you want to be tech for some people run two some people run three as long as you're running two or three just to have a way to replenish your life to abuse the purple luffy's effect this particular list is running too this is also another tournament topping list and yeah i can't go wrong with charlotte lindley i feel like it's a staple especially in this deck next card we have right here is sanji we already went over this very tough in my personal opinion we have the search went over this just a you know blanket blocker just because it's a straw hat crew this is a new card that we did not go over this feels like this is like the boss monster of your deck this is the game ending card of your deck let's go ahead and go over it monkey d luffy straw hat on play you may return one or more don cards from play to your don deck draw one card then this card gains rush so this card gains rush by returning one don this is what you really go into the end games is a nine drop 10k power just think about that and yellow in an l ace is a 10 drop with 10k power this is a nine drop of 10k power so you know you guys got blessed this particular deck got blessed with opo 9 and this is the reason why is because of this card on top of all the other cards such as this card in the gum gum giant we have the 
boots up right here for resting five cost of lore and then games blocker saying goro this is one of the best cards i feel like this may be the glue of the deck uh, quite honestly if they don't answer this turn after turn you're just gonna have so many draw you're just gonna have so many new cards in your hand you, you literally can never lose so this is one of the staples that came out of the structures they can still use the 09 we already went over the sensor genre luffy taro and yeah this is pretty much the top three deck this is the third best deck in my personal opinion not even an opinion this is proven off of facts everything we got from the east so far leaning into our particular meta this is all we got about purple luffy third best deck let's go ahead and go straight to the second best deck second best deck has to be blackbeard i'm just playing it's not blackbeard it is blue dope flamingo and i'm gonna be real with y'all we have been covering this deck so much and it's been winning so much i think everybody knows what this deck does let's not go over this deck or spend too much time on this deck i'll just scroll over every single one of these cards if you guys do want to see them he is opting out for two gravity blades and he's actually not even running the red rock instead he's running gun gum rain i've never even seen this card before you may trash one card from your hand your leader or up to one of your characters gain 3000 power during the turn not bad and it also has a way to uh, remove some things from the field off the trigger but in my personal opinion i'll rather replace this with a red rock so if you guys do want to copy this let's go ahead and look this up here real quick let's see let's tap in red rock here we go and quite honestly this card actually should go up i feel like this card i have any other cards and i'm talking about blue dolphin members well how do you guys feel about this red rock card because quite honestly with all these other decks bringing out all these bigger bodies red rock i feel like needs to go up let me know below on what you guys think if b white luffy is playing Rego or king will come i feel like maybe dofi should play three at least two i don't know let me know below maybe the ratio should be something like this i'm not really too sure i don't know you guys let me know below but besides that everything else kind of looks the same i'm talking to all my blue dolphin members just so we can get the ratios right to help people for our community okay so you know this is the second best deck let's go ahead and go to the best deck of the format and if you guys couldn't tell already this is the best deck so a lot of people say oh blackbeard is the best deck look if we actually look at every single deck out there right and we look at every deck's highest skill ceiling so let's say the pilot is perfect on all these other decks that we've seen which deck will win if the best player just plays this particular deck and if out of all the decks if it's played perfectly to its best nothing beats blackbeard only problem is this is the hardest deck to play i see a lot of people in the streets right now a lot of people in the trenches whether it be a youtube or twitter or uh you know facebook or even at your locals saying they're playing blackbeard not knowing that this is a very very hard deck to play this is the hardest deck in the game to play just because you have to manage how you use your hand okay let's go over some of these cards that are pretty new if you guys didn't know what blackbeard does already you guys have been seeing it on the screen let's go ahead and read it your on play abilities don't activate so that ability on loan just cancels out probably 80 90 percent of the decks out there so that's one of the reasons why you want to play the activate main you may trash one card from your hand until the end of your opponent's next turn your opponent's on play abilities don't activate so actually shice as hell uh this is the reason why we say this is going to be the best deck of a skill player plays this because this is a floodgate you guys don't know what a floodgate means you can't play the game i use a card you can't play the game all my Yu-Gi-Oh players know what a floodgate is and this is the reason why all my Yu-Gi-Oh players did leave Yu-Gi-Oh is because of floodgates this is the first floodgate deck that's ever been introduced in one piece and hopefully this is the only one i can't see bandai keep releasing broken shit like this okay so let's go over it laboon if you guys didn't pick up laboon i'm sorry for you the regular version is 20 most expensive one now the one you see on the screen right here is 50. let's go ahead and read some of these newer cards activate main you may rest this character if your leader has blackbeard types give up to one of your opponents negative three cards for the turn so the way this card really does work uh and on top of that when it gets destroyed you draw a card so a lot of times what you're going to do is that you're going to summon this drop something down by three costs and then go into this so you can pop something on the field i actually have a video of me playing against blackbeard and that's what he was doing he's literally just shitting on my board with these two cards on top of laboon dropping it down four and popping it with this card this is one of the main bruisers of the deck this is like a you know boss monster of the deck is jesus burgess and this is the reason why i said filling the trash in this meta moving forward will no longer be working you don't want to fill up the trash right, let's go ahead and read it this character cannot be killed by your opponent's effects if your leader has a black beard's pirate type this character gets a thousand power for every four cards in your trash and that's the reason why i said the last thing you want to do is start filling up the trash especially against this deck because for more cards in their trash the higher this power can be so for all my robin players i feel bad for you because this is almost like an auto loss for you because you're 
blanket effect is send every card to trash which you're literally just helping out this jesus burgess one of the most broken cards in the game just because it can't be killed it can't be trash can't be bottom deck but it can't be killed and like i said earlier in some of my other videos this deck was built to be black a lot of people are complaining about the black dominance the reason why black is so dominant is there wasn't a check this deck was specifically designed to counter black by just looking at some of these effects next card we have right here this is also from opio 9 done times one when attacking you may trash two cards from your hand draw two cards so this is a hand recycler let's go ahead and read stronger black beer taurus activate main you may trash one card from your hand uh this is pretty much a searcher and uh also it brings down negative two costs like i said earlier they have a lot of things to bring down costs just so you could pop with this i think this may be the only way to remove things from the board is this particular card as well uh we just have a regular blocker here for some defense late game this is your main card that you're really going to be dropping down this is pretty much the gist of the deck you wait until you try to get the 10 drawn drop this card and then you drop another one next turn and then you just start winning the game this is pretty much how this deck works this is like a 2.0 version of uh 10 drop lin lin spin if you guys are new and you guys don't know what card i'm even talking about since you guys are new this card right here charlotte lin so this is the card i couldn't recognize it because i've never seen this card in real life but this is pretty much charlotte lin lin 2.0 you guys see its effect blackbeard is pretty much charlotte 2.0 instead of dropping out you know this card you're waiting until you get to the end of the game to drop off this so that's what this card pretty much is this is a searcher this is some board removal this is a searcher this is liberation is also a very very good card allowing you to kill anything with four costs or less and then on top of that um you can negate a character on the board so very shice in my opinion and this is the stage this is the top 10 best decks of the opo 9 format based behind science and statistics not feelings and opinions and that's a fact not an opinion but look this is all i got if you enjoyed this video let me know below if you guys think i missed some type of top deck um don't tell me below because at that point it's just nothing but feelings everything i'm taking from all this data is literally from the east for the past three months so this is the proper list this is the best list and yeah if you guys don't like it prove me wrong in some of our tournaments okay that's all i got but look before i go if you are feeling the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe it all go